trust this will work correctly. But why? And he's gone. So what is his angle? Is he working for the UTIC guys, I guess? That infiltrated the Federation? Well, those are UTIC guys. Oh, he just straight up is working for UTIC. When does this happen? His objective all along seems to be getting Cosmos, I guess. That's different. Early version, I guess. So maybe this was a while ago. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> oh, that's, that's freaky. Oh, is this what happened when... Is this the thing they were talking about, where it seems like Cosmos just killed everyone? It was his fault. Unsurprising, okay. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised this guy does seem like a massive incompetent buffoon. <clears throat> Somehow he survived this though. I'm on Cosmos' side here. Just blast him. <laughs> Solve all our problems. <laughs> Scared the shit out of this guy. <laughs> kind of deserved it, though, honestly. Anyway, here's your dinner. Mm. Well, now that's multitasking. Hold a plate of food while destroying things. And here's emails. I would appreciate your I would appreciate your help, Vector NSS. I appreciate your cooperation in the search, but there's something I should tell you first. Oh, this is that, um, that person that's tracking down the AI, uh, hacker person? My brain is still fried from that email. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this one's going to be a nightmare to read, isn't it? Oh, okay. In approximately 1200 seconds, the AI in the question will be completed. That's right, the time allocated to the search has actually already started. There isn't much time remaining. I don't believe I mentioned this to you in my previous email. I apologise for leaving out details. Well then, 
You say, there's only uh, 1,200 seconds left. It's going to take me 1,200 seconds to read this bloody email. <sighs> Let's briefly explain the search that is about to begin. We will continue monitoring Mercury around the clock. We know what time the invasion is supposed to take place, but are taking extra precautions. I will send you an email once we confirm that an intruder has made access. Use your AI to identify the intruder's access code. Given the approximate location, if you cannot clearly identify it, we will dispatch our investigators in those specific locations. That way, we can restrict the culprit and close in on him. Okay. Short and concise. They learned this time. I guess I don't have to do anything immediately. Alright. Medkit. Ether upgrades. Nice! Game, keep providing me with these buttons that I really shouldn't press, but I really want to press. Safety lock. Okay, just close the door. One thing I realised what they were doing on the Warglin Day is everywhere that they had these sort of buttons and these things you can interact with. And even the, the, the two people you're playing uh, tag with, every single thing on that ship was a tutorialization of what you'd have to do when the Gnosis came. Like, even the, the playing tag thing. Because I only, I only noticed it in the editing when I was going back. When you play tag, it's the exact same pattern and formation that those two Gnosis do when they chase you down that exact hallway. And the strategy you use to avoid the people playing tag is the exact same strategy you'd use to avoid the Gnosis in that hallway. And all the buttons you can interact with, they all let you slow down or distract or shut off access to the Gnosis attacking you. So every single thing was a tutorialization of something, which was very clever. That was really well done. But now I'm wondering, are they doing the same thing here? Which also makes me wonder, is this ship going to get attacked next? <sighs> uh, I suppose we'll find out, shall we? Ether, we're getting a lot of upgrades. <laughs> and 50G. Oh, is this a map? No, it isn't. Could really do with one though, because I have no idea where I'm going. You know what? I'm not going to complain on getting money. Commander! Your dinner's cold! <laughs> I spent half an hour running around this bloody ship. Oh, there's more. Okay, I we able to talk to Cosmos. She seemed asleep, so I didn't want to bother. I'll try again later. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Chaos gives me the creeps. <clears throat> Why, thank you. <laughs> Recently, Commander, I went to the maintenance lab, just up the elevator on the left, in the hangar up ahead. Okay. And once again... They've given me a button. Okay, anti-intruder. It does make me think they're going to have something happen on the ship. Because they wouldn't give me all these buttons otherwise. I see you, game. Use the lift. Sure, why not? Okay, so this is the mech room. Good to know. This, also, like this room specifically, 
Same as the one on the Woglindy. Gives me massive Xenogears vibes. Because this just reminds me of uh, the headquarters ship, I think. Y you get a headquarters ship in that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you have a... Uh, in that game, it's the Gears hangar. Hello. I'm in charge of maintaining this ship. Is there anything you need? I will sell you anything on the ship for cheap. I appreciate your patronage to the captain. Gonna repay his debts. Another ship? An eggs tuning? How much money have I got? It doesn't tell me anywhere on that screen. Okay. Vector sword. Oh, I have quite a bit of money. Hmm, I do like swords, I'm not gonna lie. So there's a thing where you... it There's a benefit you can get from doubling up on a weapon. So if you have two swords, I can do something special. So I'm gonna try it. Armor 2? We'd have those though. What does eggs to do? Buy a generator. Can't afford it anymore, okay. Buy a frame? We can buy the frame! That gives it a lot more health. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. We look forward to your next visit. Um, eggs. I still don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it because I think they're pronouncing it like eggs. Eggs. Egg, eggs. It's. It's strange. <laughs> I'm probably just going to call them mechs for the most part because <laughs> that's. Basically, what it is. Um, it's a right arm. I'll give it the vector sword. The left arm also. I'll give it the vector sword. And the shoulder will keep the missile launcher. Yeah. Yeah. That works. I think. <sighs> okay. And also having the mech customization does also remind me of Xenogears, which is good. Because I really liked Xenogears. Yo, I'm just gonna say it, your ship is too big. <laughs> Coat beam? Oh. Reduces P type uh, B di B type damage by twenty percent. And physical defense. So it's just a straight up upgrade over the protector then. Same physical defense, but also gives me B type damage protection. Whatever the hell that means. Alright. So, this is the escape pod room, I presume. Which is not going to be useful later. Definitely not. I definitely should not memorize the quickest route to the escape pods. Because everything is going to be fine. Also, sorry about destroying all of your furniture. <sighs> Segment address number eight. Grand. At least now I know what those are for. Just can't do anything with most of them. But also, yeah, we could, that's. 
we can go back to uh, the Woglin day to get the ones on there. I need a disarm key. Okay. Again, totally not going to be relevant later. Five ether upgrades? Yo. Hang on. Let's have a look, right? So we have 42 points. No, not use. Use EP. Okay. So let's have a look. Oh, we can't even see what they evolve into yet. Okay. I am kind of tempted to just give her a bunch. I don't know if that's the optimal plan, but... How many do I have? Okay, well, these only give 10, so I think I will... Give her those. And a couple of the 50s. We don't know what to do with the S points yet, I think. Okay. So now I have 200 points, and now I can evolve one of these. Let's see what we can get for these. Medica all. Heal all. Okay, yeah, group heal. That's, that seems good. Refresh. Clear all status changes. That seems also quite good. Okay. Goodbye, we can get boost one. Increases boost by one. Okay. Dexterity down. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. Medica all <laughs> seems pretty good. I think I'm going to get that. Yeah, that definitely seems worthwhile getting early. Yes. Indeed. And now... I do believe I've explored every square inch of the ship. <laughs> Never mind, there's more here. Oh, does, it, does this link up to that ladder I saw earlier? I have to check. Yes, we saw. I saw this ladder earlier, and I didn't go down it. Okay. It all loops together. I will say this food is definitely cold because I have literally been walking around this ship for 40 minutes. Somehow it's still steaming. Keeps on going, okay. Eh, what are you doing? Nothing, I'm just looking for the commander. What happened to the pod we were in? If you mean the escape pod, we cleared it out already. That's why maybe small but military escape pods use cutting edge technology. They sell for quite a lot to the right people. So you put the pod up for sale? Oh shoot. I'm really sorry, please pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> it was all the captain's idea. Oh, it's completely alright, it's not like it belonged to me. I'm sure it, I'm sure to the military it's just another piece of equipment. Is that what I think it is? That's what I just bought, yeah, okay. Well, at least I got a spare one for when we eventually get new party members, I guess. Because presumably someone from this ship is going to join as a party member. Probably Chaos, even though I don't trust him at all. But maybe he can have the spare fiber suit. Um, um, I thought the commander would be here. Wait a minute, I thought I thought it was supposed to be here. What? I'm so lost. There's another elevator here. Okay, that's what I missed. Why are you 
point to the gun at people. Oh, um, I didn't see you in your room. <laughs> and Shion's just like, oh, I'll just ignore I the gun. Thought you might be a little hungry. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. What were you doing? <laughs> Why do you have a gun? I was looking at her. <laughs> Creep. At Cosmos, with a gun in your hand. Yeah, it's a little odd, isn't it? Oh, this, it's a bad habit. <laughs> I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. Can't we just show him all the airlock? I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. You haven't seen her in battle. Yeah. But regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? Yeah, screw that guy, though. <laughs> I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. He was kind of asking for it, though, to be fair. I never thought she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter, or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well, I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Why, why do you ask? Just wondering. He's panicking. You somehow seemed different from the other crew members. Almost like you were belonging to a different organization. The Woglinde task force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. Meanwhile, area 66 in the Rupin sector. Back to these guys. Looks like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Momo. We're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan star system. I'm guessing Milshi is where where Xion's party is going to meet these guys. I think we're heading there too, right? Been a couple of weeks since the uh, since that part of the story for me. I don't fully remember. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for Second Milsha. Well, that was fast. It's almost like the robot gets things done. Transferred to the UMN control center on Second Milsha. We'll finally have a little peace of mind. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that realion here. We have to send her to the UMN Control Center, located at the former Vector Transfer Gate Control Facility. 
That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. Yo, Akim Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that realion? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UNN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. Oh, so that's what they're trying to do. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. So they're trying to get into the sealed sector for some reason. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture is unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Okay, now who's Where that? Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert wave. The Hilbert effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when UTIC was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. Original Zohar? So there's many Zohars, I guess. Maybe some are like replicas or artificial or something. And they want the original. Oh, that curry was... It was very good. Commander, just say thank you for dinner. Uh, right. Uh, thank you for dinner. You're welcome. I hope you really liked it.